Exhibit A, it's a kitchen knife, taken from the dish rack, 12.56 p.m. Moldy snail grot, pox, condor sloth, and mutant pus. Exhibit B, kitchen spoon, taken from the dish rack, 12.59 p.m. <laughs> Excessive anal wart jello. Moving right along to Exhibit C, the coffee cup, hustly toxic stain of Earl of Grey mixed with Psycho's abscess blood wound. From these three exhibits, we find that a steelo, a scrubbing brush and cloth were not found at the scene. Estimated elbow force of Clayton Mongoose Sinclair, one limp pound square foot. And estimated water temperature was 10 below zero. Secret witness B. Place your right hand on the Bible, please. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I do. So help you God. Yes, I do. Thank you. Can you tell me, sir, is Satan couldn't Sinclair, in your knowledge, related to... Mr. David Wayne Tanaheri? Not in my knowledge, I don't... No, he's not. No, is that a yes or a no? No, it is not. Is he at all related to Mr. Arthur Allen Thomas? No. You know is he, these two men were convicted of serious crimes in the past? Yes, I do. What were you doing on the night of Friday, 21st of December, 1990? Well, that night I was actually sleeping in the kitchen cupboard. Why the kitchen cupboard, sir? Well, fear of eardrums billowing through my thin wooden walls, waking me up, making me quite restless, so I um, went to the kitchen to get sleep. Who were playing the eardrums, sir? One of the party members. So, there were party members there on that night? Well, not that night, actually. So you're testifying that there were no party members on yes. Friday 21st, 1990? Most definitely. Would the uh, benefit of a jury, the judge, the crowd, I would like you to show us the area where you slept that night. Sure. Most glad to. This way is through the kitchen here. Um, you can see the cupboard here. This is where the dishwashing takes place and I was actually in this far cupboard here. Could you open it for us please, sir? Yes. I've restacked it by now, of course. So you presented yourself on top or the bottom shelf? Well, on the top shelf, because I can stretch out more. And from this position, I could observe, or at least hear, um, the trickling of water, and I actually peeked out to see the upward view of Clayton. And what could you see? Well, I could see, and I could exactly feel there was no hot water in the actual um, tank. No hot water, sir? No, because I, I would have felt it on my legs, you see. And it was quite cold. I was quite disturbed. I was um, quite restless at the, at the coldness. Mm. Were there any soap bubbles in the sink? Well, I can only speculate, but, you know, uh, I don't think so. Thank you, witness, secret witness B. Your name, please? Mr. Max. From? 158 Cambridge Road. You place your left hand on the Bible. Yeah. You swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Yeah. So I help you, God. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Max. Yeah. Where were you Friday, 21st of December, 1990? Uh, I was actually out in the trigger at 158 Cambridge Road. Speak up, please. Uh, in the trigger, 158 Cambridge Road. Where? <laughs> oh, sorry for laughing. I've uh, been there for a week. A week, sir? Yeah. We're trying to establish, do you realise, that the guilty verdict was to claim Sinclair. <laughs> careless use of dolly Do you yeah. realise this? Yes. I would like you to explain to the court, the jury, what you saw from your position in the trekker. Well... 
there's a scene in the trailer, and I said, I could see Mr. Sinclair <laughs> watching the judges <laughs> from my angle. <laughs> I could see he was misusing his. Uh, Speak up, please. He wasn't scrubbing hard or no hot water. How can you tell the water wasn't hot, Mr. Max? Well, I was quite interested in, as to how he was going to wash them, and I noticed he did not turn on the uh, hot water at all. It was mainly cold. Yeah. Did you have a clear view through the bathroom window? Most definitely. Thank you. Mr. Max. Yeah. Mr. Max, moving yeah. right along now. On Friday the 21st of December 1990, did you happen to see any other members in the house? No, most definitely not. Was the lawnmower going? No. Were there air drums going? No. Speak up, please. No, most definitely Was there air drums going, Mr. Max? Look, I've said to you before, no. Leave me. Let me be. I've said my piece. Okay, Mr. Max. Calm down. You definitely sure there was no one else in the house? No one else. <laughs> Ticket witness C. Ticket witness C. You place your right hand on the Bible. You swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, only but the truth. Yep. So help you God. Yep. Ticket witness C. Can you tell us the events surrounding your actions on Friday, 21st December 1990, please? Yeah, last Friday, uh, me and the lads were in the holding, and we are at our usual state of uh, intoxication at the Wacko Burger Bar uh, down the road from, from here. Um, I was completely out of my tree and uh, needed a place to... Uh, needed a place to... Uh, um, whisk, um, urinate. So uh, I drove the holdy uh, this section here, and uh, about the time uh, the What section was that? Uh, 158 Cambridge Road. Thank you. Um, at that time, uh, there was a report uh, about um, the case of the Goldilocks on uh, the news the next morning, and I realised I was at that particular location. Uh, I can show you now exactly where I was. Yes, uh, please. To witness this. that crime. Yeah, right here, uh, slashing hit. Here's that particular drain pipe. But uh, as I looked through the open window, uh, I was alarmed by a, uh, a snoring sound. Um, it's not quite unusual because that our flat people sleep in the cupboards as well, but it was at this particular hour. Uh, and we noted uh, somebody doing the dishes with uh, sandal type that I've not seen before. Mr. C, you said you were severely intoxicated at the time. How can you tell? Uh, one doesn't forget sandals like that easily, uh, Mr. Prosecutor. Was the suspect wearing any sort of glassware? Uh, yes, I believe so. What was the length of the suspect's hair? Well, very monastery. Uh, very religious, I'd say he was a devout, uh, a devout uh, person of faith. How long did you continue to urinate at the window? Um, until the motor of the holdy uh, died. <laughs>